Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And probably the final episode. I don't know for sure yet, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Because I am finished with almost everything. I have three figurines to go. And I am not able to get any of them in the gotcha machine. You know, by grinding money into the gotcha machine and grinding out rare stones in the Colosseum, I've gotten all of them except these last three. New star block, tulip, arrow sign, cherry, watermelon, tangerine, star coin, green star coin, red star coin. Already had that one, of course. So, anyway. There's two left in Volume 1, and if you click on the question marks here, you earn this figure by clearing the Frenzy gig at the Waddle Dee Cafe. Okay, so I know how to get that one. You earn this figure by entering a few present codes at Waddle Dee Liveries. Okay, I know how to do that one. And the remaining one is in Volume 4 over there. The Spaceship Wonderia. Grab milk bottle, soft drink, oops, wrong button, fish, coaster mouth Kirby, wrong button again, come on, stop that. Anyway, the crash Kirby, noble ranger, chakram cutter, clutter needle, Fleur Tornado, Time Crash, Ringmouth Kirby, The Boat, Boating Ringmouth Kirby, Light Bulb Mouth Kirby, Animal Sand Sculpture, Twister, Balloon Meister, Spook Step, Wolf, Blipper, Stake, Windmill Switch, Lost Ducklings, Surprise Alien Board, Twirling Star Rocket, Face Cutout Photo Stand, Pumpkin, Ear of Corn, Tin of Fish, Order of Sushi, and then we're at the Milk Bottle, Tub of Popcorn, Cup of Juice, Cup of Juice, that's a, that's like a fast food restaurant soda, Hamburger, Order of Fries, Order of Takoyaki, Shortcake, Chocolate Bar, Macaroon, Wild Edge, Unfriendly Fronds, Tropic Woods. Anyway, yeah, so I have everything for Volume 3 and 4. Food items and the bosses here and the 
blueprint and the uh, items from the shop. Star coin pile. Pudding. You know, this looks more like flan, which is not pudding, it's custard, but whatever. Cup of coffee, omelette, milk carton, loaf of French bread. And volume four. Wild hammer, buzzsaw cutter, crystal needle, homing bomb and twin drill. Have all of these already. Adventure together. Bandana Waldedy and Elphalyn have joined Kirby's Victory Dance. Kirby's dancing is cute and carefree, but his singing voice is super powerful. Let's all sing along with him next time. Woohoo! Great job, Kirby. <laughs> yeah, that power was not in this game, but in previous Kirby games, I remember, you get a microphone and he screams into it and it destroys all the enemies on screen. Destined Rivals. That's how King Dadada -da -da usually describes this special relationship, so he was crestfallen when he arrived in the New World and couldn't find Kirby. By the time they finally met, Doo-Doo-Doo had changed from friendly rival to menace. That seems to happen a lot, from what I understand. A duel with Meta Knight. Well, that's an interesting one, actually. Meta Knight arrived in the New World shortly before Kirby. He did some early scouting and reached as far as the snowy north before deciding to return and protect the town. Now he keeps watch for beastly invaders from his perch by the Colosseum. He's battled Goromondo 30 times and won every bout. So have I. <laughs> the Ranger's Great Discovery. Napping Beast. How cute. Let's see. No, this isn't the one with the lore attached to it. Big Red Tortulding. And Big Rig and Big Rig Mouth Kirby. And of course, Morphle Knight Sword Kirby. And the Commentator. Now then. You earn this figure by unlocking every movie in Waddle Dee Cinema. I'm pretty sure to do that, all I have to do is go into the cinema and view them all. So that should be pretty easy. Okay. Here sits the powerful commander of the Ferocious Beast Pack. He's become a pawn for an invading specimen from beyond the stars, tasked with gathering food, capturing the Waddle Dees to use as a power source, and, most importantly, retrieving the lost subspecimen tagged as IDF87. Now here's the lore entry. When IDF86 arrived, it began attacking all the native wildlife. The creature was captured soon after and turned into a test subject. The native inhabitants used it to create tech beyond their wildest dreams. They eventually used that tech to leave the planet altogether, but IDF86 remained forgotten and fractured. Yeah, so... The previous inhabitants captured him, locked him in that stasis tube, and then just abandoned him. Now, granted, he was apparently always hostile, so, I mean, it's not too surprising what they did at first, but, eh, honestly, I think they would have, it would have been more merciful for them to kill it, rather than just leave it like that. Or, you know, if they weren't going to use this world anymore since they were leaving, why not just release it? I don't know, but... That just seems cruel, to say the least. I mean, they used it to make fancy new technology and then just left it there. And now we have all the illusory enemies from the uh, isolated isles in Forgo Dreams. Nemesis Phantom King Dododo -do -do. 
Phantom Silly Dillo. Phantom Meta Knight. Yeah, this is a Colosseum Unique boss. Phantom Forgo Da Da Da. Possessed Beast Forgo Leon. Morpho Knight. Another unique foe. No, wait, no. This one actually is in the illusory realm, the Forgo Dreams. Meow, meow, wake up, Leon. Okay, yeah, so... I have got everything except three. I have to look at all the movies in the cinema. I have to clear the Frenzy gig at Waddle Dee Cafe. And I have to enter a bunch of present codes. I'm going to do that one first, in fact. Because as I am wont to do with things like this, I actually looked it up online. And I have a list right here. Okay. Alright then. Let's see here. So, clear demo. So now we've got that one. Should be 300 star coins, which is completely useless to me at this point, but eh, I just need to get the presents. Okay, so there's... Why didn't I just take it automatically? Why did I have to walk into it like that? That's kind of irritating. Alright, so... Now then, next is Kirby Story. Should also be 300 coins. Oh, here we go. I want to thank you for using Waddle D livery so often. Here's a special figure just for you. Excellent. Okay, got that one. Delivery Waddle D. This dutiful delivery D works for Waddle D liveries in town. He gets helpful items to your doorstep with blinding speed. Kirby's handwriting makes it hard to read the present codes sometimes, but this kind soul approves the orders anyway. Alright, got that done. Only two more. <laughs> now... Okay, let's see about the gig. Help on it for a part-time gig. Come work for the best and only cafe in Waddle Dee Town. Yeah, that also means it's the worst. If it's the only one, it is the best, but it's also the worst. So they both unlocked already? Hmm. Well, this is the one I need to beat. Sure, let's go for broke.
What do you want? Wow, okay. Hmm. That was rough. Twenty nine percent. That's not very satisfied. Hmm. Okay. So that gave me a bit more understanding. Let's try the harder one again. that one up. And... Oh! Darn it, that... good at this one. It just takes reaction times that are faster than I've got. so quickly the gauge drains so quickly there Oh. 
almost made it that time. Darn it. No, I didn't want to select. I need to actually do Frenzied Gig. I have to f get through t t 50 seconds. I think the next guy's a tomato. Oops. <sighs> oh, darn. Oh, I couldn't even get to the cake quickly enough before the gauge drained out. I really do need to get this done though. This is going to be the hardest one, obviously. Burger. He wanted a burger. Darn it, wrong way. Shoot. I almost had that one. Well, nothing for it but to keep going. He wanted the drink. He wanted the drink. Okay. I cleared it, that means I get the figurine. Twenty one per cent customer satisfaction. <laughs> Thanks for your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help out again soon. Kirby, may I speak with you for a sec? You've been helping us a lot lately. It's a tough gig, but you even handled the frenzy like a pro. Oh, <laughs> did I now? <laughs> so, uh, we'd like for you to have this special figure and our deepest thanks. Ready? Here it comes. Thanks. Cafe Staff Kirby. Kirby's taken on a side gig at the counter of the Waddle Dee Cafe. He's dressed like a focused employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This may might be his greatest struggle yet. Stay strong, Kirby. 
Yeah, eating is what Kirby tends to do. That's just, you know, his thing. Why, they're ignoring me. How rude. Ah, well, they're reading books, I guess. Reading is a good thing to do. You know, I've done a bit of research in starting this Let's Play, and I have discovered, or remembered rather, that Waddle Dees are enemies in other Kirby games. So I've been sucking up and eating these guys quite a bit, too. It makes this kind of awkward. Well. Okay. Cafe Staff Kirby. Delivery Waddle Dee. Only one more to go. And that's the one for the Waddle Dee Cinema. Which is right over here. I came in here at near the start of the game when I opened up the place. And I haven't been back since. Congratulations, Kirby! All of the movies are now available in this cinema. To celebrate, we want you to have a special figure. Usher Waddle Dee. After the town was destroyed, this movie-loving Waddle Dee decided that the cinema needed to be rebuilt right away. Sure, food and shelter are, import are important, but so are movies. As for his favorite movie, it probably has to be all of them. As a bonus reward for collecting every figure, you now hear special music playing over the collection screen. <laughs> 100% clear. Congratulations! Would you like to watch a movie, Kirby? Eh. Why not? Okay, so I've seen all those, and then this one. A showing of Brawl of the Mall is about to begin. Please take your seats. Really? Okay. I've forgotten that you have to do it this way. Strong-armed beast, Goromondo. Okay. Pick another. Okay, so I can just do it right here on the screen. Okay, the Tropical Terror. I don't have to go all the way back to the lobby. That's good. That was a short one. Anyway, I've also learned that that guy is called Wispy Woods. Okay, danger under the big top. Lethal Leopard Claroline, yep. These are pretty short, mostly. A sword fighting rival appears. Yeah, because the uh, Meta Knight Cup in the Colosseum unlocked as soon as you beat Claroline. So that's why it comes immediately after like this. But 
Lone Swordsman, Meta Knight. I've seen that movie a lot, considering how many times I went through the Meta Knight Cup grinding for rare stones. An Unexpected Beast King. King Day Today, his royal nemesis. Seems like he's always either a fake out boss or mind controlled. From victory to sorrow. Yeah, I'm still convinced. that there was no big deal about this because Elphalin had not been useful at all before that point. It was only when we got to the Isolated Isles in Forgo Dreams that he started actually being useful. Collector in the Sleepless Valley. Obviously, paper mache even from the back. Armor plated prancer. The mind corrupting mask. Primal Nemesis, Forgo Diddy D. The King's Turn to Shine. I mean, seriously, Kirby couldn't have handled all of that? Yes, he could have. Kirby is just a bottomless pit of endless hunger. He could have sucked them all in and spat them back out at each other and yeah he could have handled that easy but you know whatever we had to continue towards the final boss. OK, 
Okay, this is a bit of a long one, as I recall. actually doing anything here. Kirby's walking forward on his own. And that phrase there. And here we are. That was playing during the um, Colosseum battle against the improved final boss. The one who controls the world. Take a good look, pink intruder. Isn't this a beautiful sight? Okay, do I have to push A or is it going to go on its own? Nope, I have to do it. You're not even seeing the Great One in full form. They're incomplete without their other half. Long ago, the Great One granted the people of this world a miraculous power. Those people left this world behind and entered a land of dreams. Okay, I forgot this little detail. It's not so much that they you know, went into spaceships, it's that they went into the world of dreams. Interesting. Once the Great One is complete again, I know we will also receive this miraculous power. We, the ones they left behind in this forgotten land. Hmm. Yeah, so it was manipulating them from the start. Because that's not how the original inhabitants gained that power. By completing it and letting it wake up. They gained that power, apparently, by leaving it in stasis and manipulating it. And now the time has finally come. That's right, this small creature here is the Great One's missing half. Finally, after all our planning and effort, we can help the Great One reach their complete form. We've dreamed of this moment for so many years. If you dare to stand in our way, 
We'll feast on your hide. Or rather, Kirby will feast on yours, because that's what he does. King of the Beasts, Liangar. We still have a ways to go. <laughs> the fake out ending. There. Plan ruined. Important plan. Needed labor. Open vortex. Found workforce. Brought here. And yet, error made. Irksome pink contaminant. Careful planning. Now wasted. No more planning. No more patience. Instead, everything shall be consumed. Well, yeah, again, that's what Kirby does. halfway through all these. That's still quite a ways to go. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo. You know, when a door is being battered open like that, you don't just stand there watching, you run. Ultimate life form. Oh yeah, there were titles on these things. Sudden Metamorphosis, IDF86, Gemini Reunion, the Ultimate Life Form. life form, Fecto Elphilus. The fate of two worlds. Okay, so this was after I used the mouthful mode to get Elphilin out of there.
Such incredible power. Whatever it's trying to do, it's going to be pretty bad. What is it, Kirby? Whoa! Is that... Is that your home? That's Planet Popstar? Oh no! It's pulling Popstar through that huge vortex. It wants your world to collide with this one. We have to stop it, but how? <laughs> A full speed farewell. Okay, I'm not controlling anything here. anything. Although I am still getting the rumble feedback on my gamepad. No night is eternal. Is this Planet Popstar? Everything is being pulled in. need to close the connection between worlds. Even if it takes all the power I've got. Hey Kirby, thanks for everything. It's nice to be home and all, but now everyone else is still trapped over on the other side. Ah, but fortunately, a portal opens, and we can go back to visit. Ending. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty um, clear title. is going to be a longer one. And, hmm. I, d 
did notice that it says skip there. Must have reacted to me setting down the controller and maybe it pushed one of the shoulder buttons or something. Maybe I should skip. It's gonna go through all the credits again. Kind of interested about voice actors, so. though. Not that there was much in the way of dialogue, but there were, you know, noises, the grunts and cries and automatopias and all that. Sound, lead music, voice, there we go, Makiko Omoto Kurumi Minya, that went by too fast. Well, if I want to see it again to check out the voices, the voice actors, I can rewatch this movie whenever I want. Everyone is welcome to live in this new world, they say. Not really a new world. I mean, people have been living there for quite a while. It's just that the original inhabitants decided to leave. And now the... basically... The Beast Pack's home belongs to them now. Well, I guess the Waddle Dees live there too, also. Okay. To be continued. Yeah, we already saw the end of that. Entering a dream of isolated aisles. Is this another mysterious vortex? What? You sense Leongar somewhere in there. <laughs> Slumbering caged Leo. all of the other phantom bosses had introductions that didn't count as movies. Counting your chickens before they're hatched. Possessed beast, Forgo Leon. Oh, 
All right, then. Surging Psychic Power. So this was halfway through the Leon fight there, wasn't it? Yeah. And now, fluttering foe on an isolated aisle. Psychic Beast Soul Forgo. Ah, but we didn't fight him. He transformed into Morpho Knight with this butterfly. Sort of a dream of Meta Knight. Kirby, the Beasts, and the King. I still think it would have been helpful for them to have given us that in advance rather than waiting for the dramatic reveal at the end but eh, you know stories are gonna story Too many more. Looks like just three more. Okay, now we need to see the end credits again. <laughs> Wasn't it? Kirby in Dreamland? Kirby's Return to Dreamland? Something like that. It's just the same credits, isn't it? Kenta Miyaki, Minami Takayama, too, too fast for me to read them all. 
But yeah, it's the exact same credits, just with new pictures and orange titles for the categories rather than green. I think it was green before. credits are the same. I didn't really pay that close attention last time. I've always thought the HAL Laboratory logo was kind of weird. I mean, a dog laying eggs? What's that supposed to be symbolic of? Oh well. I could probably look it up on the internet if I cared enough. Maybe I will, but... Later. And wow, I'm seeing that we've passed the one hour mark. just want to finish up the rest of these movies. And check out my figurine collection and that should be that two more to go all right so this is where we see the new and improved final boss from the uh, Ultimate Cup Z in the Colosseum. And then one last video. Where we beat that enemy in the Colosseum battle. Just sort of gently breaks up rather than explodes violently. I still can't believe Kirby trusted him. In Kirby's place, I would have just eaten him to be sure that he wasn't possessed by something evil. I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all of them. Okay. Well then. How'd you like the movie? Want to watch another? Uh, well, no thanks. We've seen them all. Feel free to stop in any time. Uh... Okay, let's check the collection screen. 
Yep, new music like they promised. And here's the final one. Usher Waddle Dee. Right. I'm pretty sure that is literally everything. Oh yeah, there are a few more photos on the wall now. There's the 100% completion on the top right. Yeah. Well, let's see. I should change those figurines just to mix things up a bit. Put away. There's the other one. Alright, what should I change it up with? I guess this one. How does it look now? It's on the left. I mean the right. Hmm. Uh, and since I used the Morpho Knight sword almost exclusively at the end there. Not just almost exclusively. I used nothing but the Morpho Knight sword. Now it's in the middle. Uh, yeah, I need to change that around. Might be sentimental, but I think the team-up statue should be in the middle. Where is it? There it is. Why didn't that one move? Ah. Okay, so let's put them both away. Okay, there we go. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so... No, 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 no. There we go. I want to display this one first. And then this one. And... Hmm... Well, I guess this is proof that I completed the game right here, so let's put this one up. There we go. That looks pretty good, I think. Wow. I guess there's one thing left, really. And that's the hard mode on the marble rolling thing. Stand in front of Tilt and Roll Kirby when you want to try. Press A. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's give it a shot. Okay, reset tilt, thank you. There we go. Come on. 
down. Now, I still have trouble knowing which what's flat. Now that's back up. Okay, there we go. And go. All right, that wasn't too bad. those things once. Oops. Now. Got the one. Okay. Good enough. So close. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't want to change. I wanted to reset the tilt. Setting the tilt is very handy now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. All right, I'm done. <laughs> You cleared all of Tilt and Roll Kirby in extra hard difficulty. Whoa! You cleared all of the extra hard difficulty? Really? I guess that's not a huge surprise. Your adventures here must make this seem like a piece of cake. Here, Kirby. You deserve another prize for clearing extra hard. 
have some rare stones on me. Oh, I could have gotten rare stones from this guy? Should have done this a while ago. I don't need them now. <laughs> could have used them earlier. All right. Well. I believe that is literally everything. What do you have to say? Oh, look at that. You've collected every blueprint. Stellar work, Kirby. I had nary a doubt in you. This week's world record time for Tilt and Roll Kirby Extra Hard 3 stars is 10 seconds. So far, you've saved 300 Waddle Dees, and the combined total saved all over the world is 303,863,950 Waddle Dees. Would you like to hear more? Sure. Let me see. The world record for defeating Goromondo is 2 seconds with Time Crash Plus. Oh, okay, yeah. You can actually spend rare stones to increase the power of the copy abilities. Okay, yeah, that's another thing I could use the rare stones for if I was continuing, but... Yeah, I think I'm done after I'm finished listening to this guy. The most popular Waddle Dee Cafe item is Maxim Tomato. It's had 4,965,264 orders. So far, the number of times you've inhaled objects during your adventure is 1,145. Globally, the total count for objects inhaled is 1,113,589,213. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, let's keep going. Today's top trend is Meta Knight Sword. It's the most popular ability in the world right now. Yeah, well, I always stick with Morpho Knight Sword. It's simply better. But then I guess in order to get the Morpho Knight Sword, you have to have beaten Morpho Knight, and that means going through Ultimate Cup Z, and yeah, a lot of people probably haven't done that. No, wait, you don't have to go through Ultimate Cup Z. You have to finish up Forgo Dreams. But yeah, probably a lot of people haven't actually gotten that far. When I say car mouth cake, do you get a bit hungry? No. That item has been eaten 1,946,478 times so far. The number of star coins you've collected so far is 50,830. And the combined total of star coins collected all over the world is 37 billion. 858,680,172. Would you like to hear more? Sure. The solo world record for the Ultimate Cup Z in wild mode without any power up items or amiibo was 4 minutes 18 seconds, and it looks like they won with Toy Hammer Plus. The Toy Hammer, not even the upgraded um, DDD Hammer. Huh. That's pretty impressive, actually. For pop flowers, you've helped 428 bloom during your adventure. The combined total of bloomed pop flowers all over the world is 368,334,888. So far, the total number of woofies you've defeated is 947, and a combined total of 839,468,406 of woofies have been defeated worldwide. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, let's keep this going. As long as we can. Why not? The world solo world record for Meta Knight Cup in wild mode without any power-up items or amiibo was 6 seconds. And it looks like they won with Toy Hammer Plus. Okay, wow. Toy Hammer Plus must be stronger than I thought. The solo world record for the Ultimate Cup in Wild Mode without any power-up items or amiibo was 2 minutes 26 seconds, and it looks like they won with Masked Hammer Plus. Yeah, that's what I would have expected. Masked Hammer rather than Toy Hammer, because Masked Hammer is simply stronger. Huh. That is actually surprising. 
Press L or R to guard and take less damage from attacking enemies. Anytime you'd like to learn more, I'll be more than happy to share. Okay. Well. Viewers, this is the end. I've done everything that I care to do. You know, I could probably do timed runs of boss battles or the Colosseum, but you know what? That's not really my thing. I've beaten all of the Colosseum cups, and I've beaten all of the bosses, and I've gotten the statues of Elphalyn and Kirby, and I've gotten all the figurines, and I've seen all of the movies in the movie theater, and I've upgraded all of the copy abilities. I've... yeah, I've... I'm finished. As far as I'm concerned, I've completed the game. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Final thoughts? I've really enjoyed it. It's not the game I thought it was going to be at first. I was expecting something more along the lines of Super Mario Odyssey, where they gave you big sandbox regions to explore around in, and instead it was just a rather traditional linear level Kirby game. Just put into 3D instead of, you know, side view 2D. And, you know, that's okay. I do have to admit, I wanted the Super Mario Odyssey version more. But, eh. I'm not going to hate on the game for what it isn't. I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. And it is a fine game. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've really enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next Let's Play. Thanks for watching. And until next time, viewers, have a good one.